Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one. We do daily content on this channel where we talk about different homebrew, how to install different plugins, different emulators and things like that. So I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I wanted to share with you another cool plugin for your PSP and this one will work for the 1000, 2000, 3000 and the PSP Go. As long as you're running custom firmware, it should work no problem and it's basically this little menu at the bottom here and it displays the time, your frames per second, your CPU and your battery which is nice. And right now I have mine set up to show the battery percentage and time left. And also the percentage of the CPU used along with the frames per second. This little menu is very customizable meaning you can move it anywhere on the screen. And it will follow you all around if you're in the recovery menu, if you're playing a game, a movie or anything like that. That information will always display unless you disable it in the main menu which is here. And it's a combo. Uh, button which is the L trigger and the music button and that will bring up this little nice menu where we can just adjust uh, the different modes like we can change the frames to show a different style if we just want the numbers or if we want the uh, the prefix or just a suffix or off and you can always disable it and change the language which is nice and so there's all sorts of different things here which is great and just very convenient for you just so you can keep track of your battery and also your CPU usage. So let's begin on the installation. You want to go to your USB connection and connect your PSP to your PC. Head on over to the first link in the description down below and that will take you to Mediafire.com. This is the PSP HUD version 275 CF Plus Multi. Hit that download button. Now we're showing our folder and this is a .rar file and you want to right click and extract here. Perfect. Now you want to open up your PSP drive. Uh, let's see here, it's USB drive D for me. Here we go, perfect. And if you don't already have a SE plugins folder, you want to create that by hitting this little button up here, new folder, and rename that SE Plugins. Let's delete that here, don't need it. Sorry about that. Uh, let's open this folder. And now we want to, let's open that up. And we want to extract these files as well. Now after you extract these two, you'll have one for the PSP Go and one for all the other uh, models. So we're going to use this folder, open that up. Here's our SE Plugins folder. And if you don't have that folder, you can always just copy that into uh, your root of the memory stick and you should be good to go. But we're going to open our SE Plugins folder, open this one up. And we want to copy the Lang and RPX HUD into this folder. So we're going to copy these two files into the root of our three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna copy the Lang and PRX files into this folder of our SE plugins, and I'm not gonna do that because I already have those. And you want to open up your VSH text. If you don't have this, you can always right click, new text document, and rename that VSH.txt. Let's open up our VSH text and you're going to need like a notepad or something like that to view the, uh, the file here or the text document. Let's open up this one from the downloaded folder and we want to copy this line into our VSH text and we want to hit control save or control S I'm sorry and hit file save. I'm not going to do that because I already have it here, as you can see. I'm good to go. 
Now we're going to open our game text. If you don't have this, just right click new document and rename that game.txt. Open that up. And now we can copy this line into this file and save it up here. Make sure to hit that save. Uh, sometimes uh, you miss out on saving that and the uh, app or the plugin won't work. So make sure you do that. And that's basically it. Now we're going to go back onto our PSP and take a look at all the features. All right, so here we are back on our PSP and you want to disconnect the USB connection and hold down the L trigger and press this little music button at the bottom. And that will bring up the HUD or HUD menu. This is version 2.75 final. And at the top we have our language. We have the show HUD method 1. There's just different uh, you can have different methods like this one can be specific to this style and then method 2, you know, you can have a different uh, style of showing the different information uh, displayed on your screen. And the next option is show FPS. And we have that one turned off. And as you can see, it's moving because my analog is a little, it's acting a little funny. But when you move it, you can move the selected info anywhere you would like on the screen. And it's moving on its own because my analog is crapped out on me. But uh, yeah, if you press the left and right buttons on your D-pad, it will change the different display. Like this one says prefix, so it says FPS and the frames shown right now. Press it again, and then we have the suffix. And off, here's just the number only. It's great, so we can move that. And once you change, it will stay there. Now it's going to show our CPU. So we have the CPU bus speed and usage. Let's move that up a little closer. There we go. And we can turn this off. Just have the CPU speed or you uh, have the uh, CPU and bus speed. Or use this option, the CPU usage. 53%. So the CPU is being used at 53% right now. CPU speed and usage. It's great. Now we go back down here. We have the show CPU notification. And this is a notification that pops up when you start an application like a movie, a game. It's going to flash on the bottom of your screen. So you can have either the CPU or bus speed off or CPU speed. And that's it for our options. And next we have our show battery. We have percentage, time left, off, percentage, time left. And I don't got much time left because it's at 11 minutes right now. Or, yeah, I'm at 8%. And then here's our time. This is our local time. And you can have the icon, the 12 hour suffix. And you can take that PM or AM off. You can just have the 24 hour time, military time. Or just have the 12 hour suffix like that. Very convenient. A lot of different options here for the time. And you can have the little icon. I like the icon because it just makes it look a lot cooler. And I know that this is specific to the time. And here, let me move that. Let me see here. We have the CPU battery time. And this is kind of glitched out here. I'm not sure why. Kind of weird, but. Under. Or an order. Oh, so this is the order of which you would like to have your. Let's see here. This one, I was not familiar with what was going on with this. Uh, this little feature here is not, you can see that it kind of bugged out on me there a little bit. And I'm running 6.60 .60 with Infinity 2.0. And I'm not sure what's going on here. Then we have our CPU speed XMB and CPU speed game. This is where we can overclock and just have it defaulted. 
this is just nice a little feature to overclock your CPU but we already have that on our VSH menu so there's no need to really mess with that unless you want to I mean it's not gonna make a difference um, and then here's our combo button our menu button our HUD button and our screen button which is nice so that is pretty much it guys if you have any questions about this nice plugin feel free to comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and you can exit out by pressing L here. And I do apologize for the sound of my voice and my stuffy nose. I picked up a nasty cold and I've been sick for the last few days and my daughter's been sick too. So it's just been a rough week and I'm trying to get like seven videos done before I leave on this trip to Chicago here real quick. Uh, real soon, I mean. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.